In this video, I want to show you how you can install JVisors Container Runtime inside Docker Desktop's virtual machine. And I will show you how you can do it on Windows and on Mac OS. Windows will be a little bit tricky because it has GPU support and it will override our configuration. So you can find a blog post about this topic, which you can use if you need the source code. And in the video, I will just show you quickly and I will walk you through how you can install GVisor's Container Runtime on Windows and on Mac OS in Docker Desktop. And there's a script which I copied from the documentation of GVisor. This is that can install GVisor's Container Runtime and I had to change it because I will use it inside a compost file. So let's go to my terminal on Mac OS and let's see what we need. First, we need a compost file and you can see some example commands here and you can see the service, the Compose service, run and see installer. I use a simple Alpine image. This is an official image. All I need from this image is a shell and I want to use wget to download the runtime. This is what the installer script uses. You can also notice that I changed the number of dollars before the variable names. This is because the Compose file also supports variables. And if I don't want the Compose to interpret the variables in this script, then I need to use another dollar sign. If I want Compose to interpret the variables, then I need to use a single dollar sign, like here, where I allow you to change the volume name if you have this volume already, which is very unlikely, but it is possible. So let's see how this Compose file works. There's a volumes section and I need some volumes. The first, which you already know about, is the one where we will download the runtimes to, and the other one is not actually a volume, but a bind mount. This is where I want to mount my daemon configuration files from. And I want to mount it to slash etc slash docker because this is the default folder where the daemon configuration file usually is. And the other bind mount is to bind mount a file from inside the virtual machine of Docker desktop. This is especially required on Windows because if we are using Windows, then because of the NVIDIA runtime, which will be added to the configuration file when Docker desktop starts, our configuration file will be overridden unless we change the file which is already overridden. So this is that configuration file. And we also need this bid host parameter in the compost file because I want to be able to access the processes on the host because I want to send a signal to the Docker daemon process to notify it that it should reload the daemon configuration file, this configuration file. Then we have a command section, which is for our script, which is partially what I downloaded from the documentation of GVisor, and the rest of it is a little bit customized, so I don't want to move the runtime to the default folder, which is slash user slash local slash bin. I want to move it to the folder which I mounted as a volume. And then I want to run run as C install, which will install and configure itself in the daemon configuration file. It will know which path it has to use because it will use the path where it can be found. That's why I needed to mount the volume exactly to where the Docker daemon could find this runtime. And it will look for the daemon configuration file where it is usually expected to be at slash etc slash docker slash daemon json. If I want to change the other configuration file as well, which is required on Windows, but it is also useful when you want to avoid manually exiting and uh, restarting Docker desktop on Mac OS or anywhere. So we can change this configuration file, which is used by the Docker daemon at the moment, and then send 
Linux signal to the Docker Day process. This hub signal is what notifies the Docker daemon process to reload the configuration file. That's it. We have this compose file and now we can copy the first command to test that the runtime is not installed yet and the first command is to test the default runtime run c we get the output so we can compare the two outputs now if i use the run c runtime then i can see that it is an invalid runtime this is because i need to run the installer if i go to check this configuration file at dot docker daemon json then i see that there's no runtime configuration here okay now all I need to do is run docker compose either up slash d or if I want to see the logs then I can just use docker compose up but I also want to remove the container after that installation is finished so I want to use docker compose run dash dash rm and the name of the service in the compose file which is run sc installer if I run this command then it will download the runtime from the internet and then it will configure the configuration files now let's test our runtime and it looks like it works so we managed to install the new runtime in docker desktop on mac os now let's see what the problem is on windows if i go to my windows machine and uh, i want to test this command not this one i copy it on the output and I need this docker run command so I can test this and I get well I get that the docker desktop is not running at all so let's start docker desktop first and it is running so I can try again and see that the runtime is invalid okay now let's run the command docker compose run dash dash rm and the service name run sc installer it's finished now it installed the daemon and it reloaded the configuration of files if i run the test command again then i can see that the runtime is installed now what happens if i quit docker desktop and I try again and now it doesn't work because the docker daemon configuration file was reset if we check the configuration file not in windows subsystem for linux actually but I use windows subsystem for linux because I like using Linux commands and I want to check my configuration file in my user folder now the runtime configuration is here and yet it doesn't work let's see what the problem is and we run docker run or m and I want to mount slash run slash config slash docker slash daemon json to slash daemon json i use the usual alpine image and the cat command to see the output of daemon json i forgot to exit now that's where you can see what the difference is between the client inside in the subsystem for linux and the client on windows so if i run the same command here and uh, this way it should work now so now you can see that the nvidia container runtime is here again but our runtime is not here so we have to run the installer again and after running this command it will download the binaries again if you want to change the compose file and the script inside the compose file to not download the files every time you can do that but this way you can also make sure that when you run this command it will update your runtime let's check 
the output of this JSON again, and you can see that this is the NVIDIA runtime configuration, and we also have our runtime configuration. So let's just run the test command again. And the RunST runtime is working. And now you actually learned how you can install GVisor Container Runtime in Docker Desktop on macOS and on Windows. And I haven't tested it on Linux because I don't expect any surprise there, since Linux is also a Unix-like system like macOS, which worked. And the other reason is that if you really need to use Docker on Linux and something doesn't work in Docker Desktop, you can still use Docker Daemon. Of course, if you need the features of Docker Desktop, then you need to use Docker Desktop. And if you experience any problem on Linux, then please tell me in the comment section and I will add a new section in the blog post and I will also make a new video about installing GVisor's Container Runtime on Linux in Docker Desktop.